What's the deal with your guy Herschel Walker in the States, guys? Can you guys explain to me what Herschel Walker's about? I only found out recently that he didn't actually play in the NFL, that he was just a college football guy. Is that true? Was he just a college football guy? That's what I've been heard. That's what I've been hearing on the great band. He didn't actually play in the NFL. So whatever sort of, um, you know, whatever reputation he has of playing football is basically based on his kind of college career. Maybe oh, well, he kind of sounds like a, he kind of sounds like a modern version of, he kind of sounds like another version of flipping Brendan Shaw, doesn't it? Where he talks up his flipping college football record, but makes it look like it was more than what it actually was. Herschel Walker's absolutely special, really, really special. And I want to tell you how special he is by playing this video of him giving, what is it? G he's at the Georgia GOP Senate. No, sorry. This is a speech of his. He's a Georgia GOP Senate. That's what he is, right? GOP Senate. This is a speech of his happening where? At Georgia. Where is he? Don't know where he is. Is it is No, there he is. He's at um, McDonough, McDonough, Go, McDonough, Go, McDonough, who, or wherever that place is in Georgia, giving this speech, which is absolutely incredible. Let's get this up on the screen. And you guys can see what I mean. But Herschel Walker's a special human being. I don't know if this is CTE. I don't know if this is just his college education. But it's interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm going to tell you to keep the faith. Oh, you have one. oh whoops. Kyler said he played 12 seasons in the NFL. Whoopsie. Oops. I got those Brendan Shaw facts. Oops. <laughs> he didn't play in the NFL. He played in college. I think I just saw something on Twitter and rabbited it like those guys do. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry, Herschel Walker. I disrespect your record. But anyway, back to Herschel Walker. Watch a stupid movie late at night, hoping it's going to get better. Don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway. Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie. I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night. But it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires and cool people, are they not? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? I never knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. But then, anyway, as I'm watching this movie, and then you tell how stupid it is, because it's one. By the way, why is he talking so fast? Coming from somebody who talks very, very fast and often stutters, why is he speaking so fast? Can someone explain to me why he's speaking at that speed? And why he's speaking like a mix between somebody that works at an auction house, a preacher, a street evangelist? an old huxy drug dealer pimp guy like why has he got that weird mix of speaking like what's going on why is he speaking like that and what is this vampires and flipping werewolf story going on like what what, what is happening here can someone can someone explain what's the deal here one in the morning so i'm watching my tv are these kids watching their tv a uh, vampire kill on their tv so you know it's kind of stupid but i'm still watching though as i'm watching this show what was funny these kids had a vampire in their attic at their house so they were watching their TV. Now I'm watching my TV. Are they watching their TV? Are they see the very have you have you noticed how he's lost the crowd already? We're only fifty seconds in. Have you noticed he's lost the crowd? He's already lost the crowd. Fifty seconds in, they were already kind of giving him a giving him some sort of you know grace. But fifty seconds into this speech of this or this segment of whatever long speech he had, he's lost the crowd. They're just silent, just looking at him, thinking, uh, <laughs> "Vampire killer on their TV." So they win this contest to bring this actor. Now, y'all got to stay with me. Bring this actor who's a vampire killer from that TV to get rid of this real life vampire in that attic. So as this actor comes to their home, he got all the right stuff. He got all the right stuff because you know, got to have a state and got to have a thing to, to kill him in the heart. And he got a necklace of garlic because that worked. I don't know what it does, but it worked. You got to have a cross because it burns. I know that worked. And then all of a sudden, this is what was so funny about it. As they're walking through the house, this, 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 this guy has got the holy water. He's blessing the house, this actor. Now, he's all fake. He's blessing the house with his holy water. They walked upstairs, and this vampire looking real good in this black suit. Whoa, that sounds like Senator Warnock, doesn't it? Looking all good in this black suit. What? <laughs> doesn't he sound like a black Brendan Shaw? Brendan exactly speaks like that. This whole, like, muddling up of the words, not enunciating phrases or words properly, mismatched sentences stories going all over the place i'm waiting for the punchline what is it about this werewolf and this vampire what's going on at the end what happens here floated from the ceiling he floated from the ceiling looking good and cool and i'm thinking whoa they better get out of that house if somebody float from your ceiling get out of that house that's that's not your house but as he floated from the ceiling the kid jumped behind that hero as they jumped behind that hero the guy jumped in front of him with this holy water threw it on the vampire forehead he covered his eye and he took his hand away he started laughing. 
And he said, that don't work. He took the cross, he put it on the vampire's forehead. And the vampire didn't even do anything. He said, that don't work. And that's the way it is in our life. It doesn't even work unless you got faith. It is time for us to have faith. (laughs) Fuck off. That whole flipping long ass confusing story about vampires and werewolves and what somebody spraying holy water on a vampire led to him saying you have to have faith you have to believe in the words that you say are you having a laugh are you kidding me are you for real no way you gotta have faith in our fellow brother you gotta have faith in this country you gotta have faith in this in the elected officials and right now that's the reason i'm here yo trump is gonna flip in it's gonna be a cakewalk for trumpy but jesus christ what was that all about eh what was that all about that whole entire story to say you got to have faith in the things that you do. You got to have what? The courage of conviction or something. Is that the whole term? Is that the whole point of the speech? Yo, this guy is absolutely wild. Politics is insane, isn't it? Politics is really insane. But I think that what they realize, these people, I think they just realize the grift of it. They realize if you become an elected official, the benefits that you get, the monies, the profile, the access. And all these things are things that usually I think some people, or yeah, I think most of the things if you're politicians are usually things that money can't really buy. Money can get you into a lot of rooms, but politics can get you into some other rooms. So they know what it does. They know that kind of shine that you have on you. Even if you're, even if you're somebody that doesn't win re-election, you still can carry that badge. You know what I mean? That little halo, that cloud, exactly, Koyla, over. You know what I mean? It's still, it's a lot. It's, it carries a lot of things. That's why people like this are, ready and willing to put themselves on front street get on the flipping you know get in front of a what you call it stand or whatever it may be or pulpit however you call it speak like the way they're speaking and just make themselves like an absolute idiot because they know on the back end it's going to be really 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 rewarding but god almighty watching it in real time is absolutely scary isn't it ridiculously scary like what the hell is going on here but hey what can you do in it i guess what can you do